Today's the only day that matters or exists. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Don't my heart's going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my sub. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk Tip Tuesday. You clicked on this video because you're curious if anything is possible, and I'm here to prove to you that it is. I've gained 14 inches of vertical. There's people that are 5'5 five, five dunking, and we continue to push the limits. I'm the leanest and the strongest I've ever been. I almost got a dunk off a drop step in barefoot shoes. My journey continues. Stay tuned. I'm playing games soon. Dunking on people in games soon. And it's nothing new. I just learned how to push myself harder. I learned how to get my body to the next level. Let's go. By the way, we creep in on 50K. Thank you so much. I am so pumped. I don't know what's happening next, but all I know is we're going next level. We just don't stop. The limits keep getting pushed. And I might do exclusive content on stevenselly.com. Check it out right now. There's sales going on for my new courses. We'll get into it. Let's go. How to dunk the top 10 basics. This is going to be a simple overview and a rundown so you can get started right now. Number one is jump technique. Work on your footwork. Work on that optimal speed approaching the rim. Keep your body up, your eyes up, and then have a big penultimate step. And then take off with symmetric feet as hard as you possibly can. I have a full program, a six week program called Instant Jump Tech you can get now to master your technique. Number two is one foot and two foot technique. So some keys that I've learned from my one foot technique is symmetric arms. So you wanna use that big arm swing, but with one foot, a lot of times we're running like this. So try this out for an instant fix. Another instant fix for my one foot jumping was running with full speed because I'm so used to jumping off two feet that I wanna load up and explode, but off one foot, I just run as fast as I can. Now off two foot, some of the big keys for myself is coming with big speed, but then having a giant penultimate. If you look at some of my videos, I'm taking off almost almost from the free throw line. And then you really want to focus on those last two steps after the penultimate step being almost simultaneous and looking up at those last two steps as fast as possible and you don't want to hop into it. Quick Tuesday. bonus is try throwing it off the backboard just so you understand how fast you need to be because when you throw it off the backboard one foot or two foot, it's going to force you to jump quick, it's going to force you to look up, and it's going to force you to react to go get the ball. It's a great way to really help your body understand the perfect technique naturally. Number three, Tuesday. how to throw a lob. This is probably the easiest way to get your first dunk. Either have a friend throw it by, right by the rim, but throw it up. I have a full video on YouTube for free how to throw the perfect lob, but you really want to get the placement right, the timing right, and just throw that thing and jump, and all you want to do is have it right above the rim and put it down. That's the best way to get your very first dunk. Number four. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Some people are actually better off the dribble. There's just more control. I'm not that way. I'm way better off the lob, which I'm working on, but with the dribble dunks, one key for myself is work on that drop step. Even if you're nowhere near it, work on a low rim because working on that drop step really helps you get comfortable with the ball in your hand. Focus on using your legs and that arm swing from here up and also just make sure you're bringing in the same speed you're using when you throw a lob keep your head up and I used to go at the rim but when I go for a lob I go up so remember that when you have the ball in your hand to really thrust it up and that's why I dunk on people better than I do without someone there because I'm trying to go over them I'm not thinking about going at the rim so my takeoff is mejor which is Spanish for better Number five, Tuesday. and number six, Tuesday. strength and speed. Speed first, sneak peek, we're gonna talk about the phases later in this top 10, but wait, speed. You really wanna do plyometrics, there's so many ways you can do that, but you also wanna do your sport-specific activity. So whether it's basketball, you wanna do sprinting and jumping. If it's volleyball, you wanna work on the skills in your sport. When it comes to speed, you really wanna max out the intensity and push yourself to move faster. That's the key. Moving on to six strength. The basics are squats, deadlifts, and hip thrusts, and you just want to get stronger. You have to get stronger. You have to get faster. That's the art of training, and I'm making a whole course on body awareness that's going to help you understand how to get your body to respond, but also how to know what your body needs. So that is the hardest part about training, getting clear on what your body wants, and then also understanding how to get those details out of every workout. 
So stay tuned for that. Sign up to be the first one to get the program because I really think it's the most powerful part of training. If you can master that, you can train your best. Tuesday. Number seven, active recovery. One of the most underrated parts of training. Recovery is equal to your training. After the gym, you have to recover and you're doing food, you're doing sleep, you're doing so many things off the court that I actually think it's more important than your training because we can all go hard, but how well can you recover? Because if you can recover faster and then you could train harder because you recovered faster, now you're having more workouts sooner, which means more progress faster. It's the only true shortcut. So there's things like foam rolling, massage guns, cold tubs, saunas, hot baths with Epsom salt, all of these things are fantastic. Learn about dynamic stretching, static stretching, that blood flow, breaking a sweat every day. You're not gonna tax your energy, but you wanna get those hormones released, get your body pumping, so that way it can get all those recovery processes started so you can recover faster, train harder, let's fly. Point is, you wanna get that blood flow. This will all be in my body awareness course as well. Number Tuesday. Eight, nutrition. Simply put, if you're putting in the right things in your body, I just dropped a whole nutrition course right now. It's on sale this week. Eating correctly will help your skin be the leanest meat it could possibly be. It'll help you get the nutrients you need to recover faster as well, and it'll also prep your muscles to take on more strain. So if you're not eating cleanly, you're just basically putting water in your gas tank instead of freaking fuel. But you actually need water, so don't use that analogy, Steve. Use water, hydration as well as a huge key about nutrition, but Put the right things in your body because you don't want to leave gains on the table. Pun intended because you eat at the kitchen table. Okay, next. Number nine. Tuesday. Probably the most important, my most transformative habit for any athlete. Again, I have a whole course on this. And this is why I love making courses because I want to go crazy in depth. But if you want to know what it is, it is sleep. If you can routinely get quality sleep, that is the most transformative thing for an athlete to recover the best and wake up with the biggest tank. So if you can see a common theme here, it's no surprise, it's no secret is what I meant to say. Energy is the key. If you can have more energy and you can recover that energy faster, you're gonna be able to train harder, listen to your body clearer, and push your body to the limits harder. Simple tricks are going to bed earlier is gonna be even better for deep sleep and recovery of your body. Minimum seven hours, but that's after wakefulness. So a lot of times throughout the night we wake up, we have moments of wakefulness, and I have about an hour a night, and I know that from wearing this whoop. So I try to get a minimum of eight because seven is the quality sleep I need. Last but not least, number 10. Tuesday. Programming. There's different types, and this definitely goes with what works for you. And if you have a coach or you're working with programs, start to learn this for yourself. It's periodization versus auto-regulation. Periodization is basically saying doing one period of training and then another one, a full block and then the other one. So you're doing strength for a set amount of time and then you're doing speed for another amount, set amount of time. I like to do a gradual auto-regulation where I'm constantly on a day-to-day -day or a week-to-week -week basis changing what I do. And that does not mean I do strength one day, speed one day, but it's more of a blended type of workout and that's the way I do it. I do coaching as well. I have programs for this. The body awareness program that's in the works will help you understand which works best for you and how to get in tune with your body so you can train the best. But if you want my help right now, stevencellycoaching at gmail.com, stevencelly.com. Steven Selly is my name, Steven Selly on all platforms. Steven Selly is who I think I am, except my vessel is just part of my skin and we're all connected. So whatever you're thinking right now is just a reflection of how you feel about yourself and I'm just a reflection of you and I love you because the universe is made out of love and it's just an expressing itself and it's just the way we have experience of the observation of a human being. So that's where I'm at. Thank you so much for walking, watching, and I have so much more. My journey's just getting started. I feel the best ever. I'm happier than ever. I'm having more fun than ever, creating the best content. So thank you guys for 50K. If this video gets me to 50K, I truly, from the bottom of the depths of my soul, mean it that you guys really fuel me up and I do this for you and I really am finding myself through this process and I hope to help you along your journey in life. So let's keep flying. Let's keep pushing the limits. Let's keep believing that there literally are no limits let's go god that was good don't tip tuesday yeah. all we do is talk don't tip tuesday boy you don't want to jump don't tip tuesday no my bird is going up don't tip tuesday and i do it for the love don't tip tuesday you know i do it for myself don't tip tuesday and i can